Putin is in a critical situation. He does not have systematic reserves for war in Ukraine. Ukrainian Army General and former head of the Ukrainian Foreign Intelligence Service, Mykola Malomuz, said that Russian President Vladimir Putin is trying to gather allies who will put pressure on the European Union and the United States of America. Putin is in a hurry. He needs to gather a pool of allies who will put pressure on the US. He thinks that if Trump comes to power, he will become his ally and will put pressure on individual countries and the EU to sign peace agreements on Russia's terms. Therefore, Putin is setting the task of capturing even more territories in order to have more advantageous operational positions on the battlefield for pressure, the general explained on the Espresso TV channel. Malomuz emphasized that the Russian president wants to show that the situation will get even worse in the coming weeks. According to the expert, he shows this with his attacks on Ukrainian cities in particular by striking the Okhmat Det hospital and other cities. Putin needs to show that the barrage of fire will continue. Although I will say frankly, Putin is in a critical situation. Putin does not have systematic reserves. He is bluffing. He is on the edge. And his entourage and the military understand this. But Putin wants to show that he has resources. That he will attack, break through and demand peace. But on Russia's terms under pressure from factors. Like he won and worsened the situation on the battlefield, the general noted. At present, Putin's propaganda outlets continue to spread the Kremlin's imperial narratives, presenting them as the only possible way to end the war between Russia and Ukraine. Moscow will hold on to the territory of Ukrainian Crimea to the last because Putin needs an ice-free port as a base for the Russian Navy. And the trillions of dollars worth of mineral and metal deposits in Donbass are also a significant prize that the Kremlin does not want to let go of. Having gained additional access to the Black Sea after the illegal occupation of the Crimean Peninsula, Putin cannot help but realize that the presence of military bases in Crimea does not offer any advantages in the current situation. After all, these bases are now convenient targets for Ukrainian missiles and drones. US and Europe will have a very, very big Russia problem. NATO commander warns, the US and Europe will have a very, very big Russia problem, regardless of how the war in Ukraine ends, the Supreme Allied Commander for NATO warned on July the 18th. Speaking at the Aspen Security Forum in Aspen, Colorado, US, General Christopher Cavoli said even a Ukrainian victory would only be the beginning of Western attempts to contain Russian aggression. The outcome on the ground is terribly, terribly important, but we can't be under any illusions. At the end of a conflict in Ukraine, however it concludes, we are going to have a very, very big Russia problem, he said in comments reported by Voice of America. We are going to have a situation where Russia is reconstituting its force, is located on the borders of NATO, is led by largely the same people as it is right now, is convinced that we're the adversary and is very, very angry. Speaking at the same event, the foreign and security policy advisor to German Chancellor Olaf Scholz gave another grim assessment, saying that, by the choice of Vladimir Putin, we are entering a phase of a long, drawn-out conflict with Russia. Its bloodiest manifestation at the moment is the war in Ukraine. But obviously, it's not the only one, Jens Plotner said. 
We have seen hybrid activity across Europe. We have seen hybrid activity in the United States. We have seen Russia reaching out to Africa. We have seen Russia rekindling ties with Tehran or even worse, Pyongyang. So I think all of this is part of the bigger picture which we need to acknowledge. The warnings come as concerns over the long-term commitment of the US to Ukraine continue to mount. NATO's Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg told the BBC that NATO allies must prepare for the worst-case scenario of a decade-long war in Ukraine. The main message is that the stronger the support for Ukraine and the longer we are willing to commit, the sooner this war can end, Stoltenberg told the BBC. The paradox is that now Russian President Putin believes that he can wait us out, so therefore the war continues. Stoltenberg, whose term as Secretary General ends in October, has consistently urged NATO allies to increase defense spending amid risks of fracturing among the alliance. Multiple NATO countries, including Slovakia and Hungary, have questioned NATO's commitment to supporting Ukraine in the war, calling instead for a peace agreement.